day. Here are seven things to know to start the day. Number one, President Donald Trump is not ruling out a pardon for former campaign chairman Paul Manafort. Manafort faces up to 10 years in prison after pleading guilty to tax evasion and other charges back in September. Number two, the U.S. Senate wants to send a message to Saudi Arabia following the death of Jamal Khashoggi. The CIA has reported and concluded that the Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman ordered his murder. However, the White House has not accepted that assessment. Number three, Congresswoman Nancy Pelosi is poised to once again become Speaker of the House. Democrats nominated their longtime leader during a closed door meeting on Wednesday, but she will have to face a full House vote to decide who gets the speaker's gavel when Congress convenes on January 3rd. And number four, the Food and Drug Administration is narrowing down the source of an E. coli outbreak linked to romaine lettuce. The FDA announced Wednesday that it's investigating six California counties as the source of the current outbreak. Number five happening right now, one of the off ramps onto Route B into Canton from Highway 61 is closed due to some sort of traffic incident. It looks like the back of a semi-trailer caught fire. Crews were seen unloading boxes from the trailer while our crew was on scene. Canton Fire and Lewis County Ambulance also on scene. And number six, a seismic sports loss this morning to the Quincy, Quincy University area. The greater soccer culture here very greatly affected by the NAIA Hall of Famer and nine-time national champion coach Jack McKenzie's passing. Sources close to Coach McKenzie told us that his health had deteriorated badly and that his closest friends were saying their final goodbyes. And number seven, not as cold this morning. Good news there. Look for the upper 20s, but we are looking for a chance for some thunderstorms this weekend so that snow and ice will begin to melt.